Yeah, hi everyone, welcome to Ms. Lodge for another week. Uh, a pretty quiet race uh, week on the racetrack this week, um, with only the one runner, which was Pantera Nera at uh, Warnable, and uh, he went really, really well. Probably almost as good as he can go, I think. He uh, ran a good second, uh, jumped, found himself in a good spot, and uh, hit the line nice and hard. He probably now he's ready to go to 2,000 metres, that horse. Um, we tried him over a staying trip last time in, but mentally he just wasn't ready for it. So uh, he's had a couple of runs over the mile now. He's ready for that next step. Uh, expect him to sort of be right around about the mark, no matter where we take him next start. And uh, don't be afraid if he puts a couple of winners to wins together I would think uh, now that he's ready and learned how to run 2,000 metres. Okay, now runners this week are uh, going to be doing a lot of miles this week. Uh, we'll kick off with actually today at Kilmore, Sistine Avenue goes around there. Um, it's just one of those nice sort of races. I thought a four-year-old and upwards maiden would be uh, ideal for him, but being a Vobus Gold race, there's a couple of them that go okay. So probably needs to go as good as he can possibly go to win, but I think he's going okay. He uh, tried him over the 1100, and I just thought he was a bit soft the last little bit. So whether, yeah, I don't know, he's drawn sort of to go, will jump and probably go back, and uh, and then hopefully we can get a nice tack into the race. So we'll just see how he goes there. But he's going good, the horse. He's, he's got his foot right on the till. He ran a good third last start. Um, just whether the, uh, the 1100 might just see him out a little bit. Okay, Friday, we'll go all the way up to Wodonga with Honey Magic. Uh, uh, brought her back to the 1300, stepped up to the 1500 the other day at Yarra Glen and just didn't run the trip, jumped, travelled too keen and then just didn't finish off on a heavy track. So we're going back to the 1300, um, drawn a nice gate to sort of land one out, one back and if she can do uh, get the gun sort of run, she'll be all over that sort of race. That's her grade. I've also got her in uh, in South Australia on um, on Sunday as well. So I'll have a good look at the field when all the fields come out and decide. But at the moment she's probably more than likely going to go up to Wodonga on Friday. Saturday, Yarra Glen, uh, got Manza in up there. Um, I was going to run him last week and uh, we just had a couple of really, really hot days and uh, that didn't sort of work out at all. He was bloody flat as a tack. So um, just give him a really quiet week. Give him a nice gallop on Wednesday and I thought he worked up okay, so he's probably ready to go back to the races. The last couple of starts, he's been sort of jumping and going, putting him, putting him in, in the races sort of up handy and he just has been struggling late. So I'm just going to try and ride him. Not, I won't go back on him, but just ride him where he's comfortable. I think you'll probably find he'll be running fourth or fifth and then be hitting the line better um, probably at the crossroads that horse he really needs to start producing um, and I'm going to probably just try and step him up to a big long trip and see how he goes but uh, at the end of the day he's only won one race and he's been I think he started favorite probably every second start he goes round so needs to be winning that's the whole idea of the game Okay, we're get jumping in the bus on Sunday and we're going to head down to Narracourt. Um, I've got a little uh, maiden called Mr Mo Food who seems to be, I thought he trialled up okay the other day at Geelong. He's a Sabres horse, so we're going to take him over to South Australia and try and chase a bit of their, their bonus money over there. Um, he's going well, he's, he's only had the one start over in South Australia once before and he just got beaten, so um, I would think he's a better horse now, all things, uh, you know, all things being fair, he should be pretty hard to beat over there. Also taking uh, his stable mate, uh, Ben Atari, there as well. He's been very disappointing this time in. Last time in, he showed us that he was a nice, tough sort of horse, and uh, he just hasn't been racing anywhere near as well this time in. Now, we've um, uh, just had a few blood counts taken from him, showing he was a little bit low on potassium. So we've changed that, uh, increased his potassium levels in his feed, and hopefully that's going to make a sig significant in uh, improvement to him. He's going to come out of running in strong Melbourne provincial form to, uh, to country South Australia form. So hopefully that finds um, weak enough race to sort of give him a chance. Old Severn Road, he's probably struggling um, and uh, he needs to go to a weaker grade, hence he can go over to Narracourt as well and have a run over there. Um, he'll bounce and be up on the speed somewhere and um, you know he's going to be, you would think he's going to be pretty competitive in that sort of grade. Certainly galloping great at home here, he's still got the zest for racing but he, uh, he's just been finding it a little bit hard here in South Victoria, so we'll give him a crack over in South Australia. I've also got Honey Magic in there as well, um, where I've got her in at Wodonga on Friday. Uh, if the uh, Narracourt race looks more winnable, uh, we'll take her there, um, so we'll have a look at that when the fields come out. Wednesday, Sandown. Now, Meninga won pretty well at Sandown the other day. She'll uh, go back up there again, um, goes to the 1400, step up from the 1300, goes up to 78 grade. So we've sort of, she's there abouts now. She's in genuine city grade racing, so keen to see if she can put two runs together. Certainly her track work, she will. Um, pretty happy with her track work, so um, she certainly looks really well, the horse, so she'll get her chance. A uh, horse called Junefield, uh, he's a new horse to our stable, I uh, trialled him up on uh, the other day at Geelong, I thought he trialled up really good. 
He'll go first up at Sandown uh, in a nice 1300 metre race, uh, probably get ridden fourth or fifth and uh, hopefully be hitting the line nice and strong. So uh, a couple of really nice chances in town next Wednesday. G'day guys, uh, welcome to Around the Stables. This week's horse, the new horse the stable called Junefield. He's uh, come to us, he's had a couple of starts. Uh, he never managed to win one, but he was around the mark in good grade. And uh, the way he's sort of, the abilities he's shown us at the farm, he'll, uh, I'm sure he'll be winning a few races. He tried nicely the other day at Geelong, over 1,000 metres. He set off a good speed and, and charged the line. Um, he's probably uh, finishing off the best in that trial, no doubt. So he'll kick off his campaign over 1,300 at Sandown and the Maiden. Um, probably the 1,300 will be that fraction bit short for him, but uh, he, I'd say his ideal trip will be heading out towards a mile. But uh, the way he is, the way that the abilities he's shown at us at the farm, um, he'll no doubt be competitive over 1,300. He's, uh, he's also got he's got a few little problems, but uh, I'm sure we've ironed them out and. Uh, and uh, if we can keep him happy and sound, then uh, I'm sure he'll be an exciting horse for the stable. Morning. Uh, my name's Bomber. I'm a part owner of Young Juro. Um, been roped into being the guest tips for today. Uh, hopefully we can get a winner for you. I've gone with uh, Caulfield as a value bet. Uh, race three, number seven, Riverina Storm. See if uh, Hayes and Oliver combination can bring that one home for you. Uh, the best bet of the day, uh, race five, number six, Caulfield, Adelaide Ace. He won well uh, Werribee last start, so we can keep going with him. So uh, good luck, happy punning. That's it for another week at MT Lodge. Thanks for watching. Uh, went over to New Zealand this week and uh, uh, looked at quite a few horses. A couple of interesting couple of the horses that we really went to buy. Uh, we just didn't have enough ammo in the bank. Uh, interesting sort of sale. I thought that the uh, the nice horses, everybody was all over them, and they probably bought a little bit over the odds. Um, where the lesser class horses, I thought they were struggling to find a buyer for them. So uh, very much two ended sale. The top end was very strong. The bottom end, I thought, was uh, was terrible. We were lucky enough to buy two really nice sort of horses that weren't overly expensive. Uh, one was a really high quality little pins filling. We didn't pay a lot of money for her, but she's a real sexy looker. Um, she'll come home here on Sunday and uh, we'll have a good look at her and give her a bit of time. And um, bought a really nice Redwood colt. He's got a full brother um, who's a city class horse and um, he, the mares uh, had quite had a few foals and they've all been winners. There hasn't been one that hasn't won. So uh, when we get them home, we'll put them on our website and you can have a good look at them. But uh, two really, really nice horses. Um, I, I think the Redwood colt's a really nice horse. Uh, he's probably, a, he was bought to be a, a genuine derby sort of horse and that's what you'd be aimed at. So um, if you're interested in uh, coming into a horse potentially uh, with a really good pedigree, um, certainly to be a derby so I taught a cult. That's him. So, uh, but when I get more, more information over and we get the horses home, we'll do a little bit of a video on it and you can all have a good look at them. Until next week, see you later. A few little uh, problems, but it's all right. It's all right. I, I didn't like it anyway. Uh, he's right. come to us and he certainly showed us um, a shitload of, a shitload of ability.